Okay, so this would be the part 3 of Spring Java Code Container Configuration. But this time, we're going to work on field injection. So how do we do field injection? We go back on school record. Let us remove the auto wired here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to auto wire the instance variable. And we're gonna work on Java reflection wherein this instance variable do not need any setter method. So we will remove the setter method. We have removed the set methods for this instance variable. But how do we assign a value here? So we put a value here, that value. I'm going to say this would be 8876 for name. Let us use Maria. And for the person, we'll use, let us say, student. So we'll insert here a qualifier. So we don't have a qualifier over. There we go. Because the Java Reflection technology is using the default constructor, which is this one, when you go back on skill app config, you are still using this bin, the default constructor. And with that, we're going to change the bin name here in uh, school app. So we will return it with school record bin name. Let us save all. Let us see if it will work. Ah, okay. So it worked. So it's not, it's already Maria, and this is a student. What if we change it to instructor? So if I'm going to change this one, instructor, so it would become instructor. Execute. Okay. So this becomes an instructor. What I like to emphasize here is we remove the setter method for the three instance variable, but still we're able to execute the application with the use of the Java reflection technology. So the last task that we're going to do is use a constructor with the use of properties file. That would be next. 